Yeah, we know how the channel cat tastes, but how does an eel taste? And how does an eel taste compared to a channel cat? Mm. My bet, it's gonna be yummy. Yeah. I saved the smallest catfish. I'm gonna skin it whole and fry it whole. I've never eaten eel, so I'm excited about it. I'm guessing it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna fry it just like the catfish. Oh, I'm gonna poke a hole in his lip. Ah. I'm gonna hang him on this nail right here. Just like that. So grab that bone right there and it'll break the tip off of it and it'll pull that skin down. And then you can just grab the skin and skin it out. Daddy, can I do it from there? I'll let you do it next time, son. And then, and then all of the skin just comes down with it. And then you can see the other side, it's peeling on, peeling around that way also. I feel like I'm a, I'm, I feel like I'm a So you got all the skin off, just take your pocket knife, got that bone right there that you started off with, cut up under it, cut around, and then it'll break. What is it, Si? Amos? Yeah. Then you got a whole catfish. And we'll Fingers. fry it. Yeah, you can. Oh, the fins are so good, Sai. Mm. They'll be, after you fry it, they'll be crunchy. And you just. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's yummy. Also, we had fun fishing today. It was a blast, <laughs> wasn't it? I was filling. You did. We both almost filling. Yeah, my <laughs> kayak almost sunk. <laughs> <laughs> I almost sunk too. Yep. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. I just had this eel hanging by its lip. And I, when I went to skin it, it pulled out of his lip. So I put the nail through his gills, thinking that should hold it uh, a bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the skin on around also. That skin is super tough. Oh, I'll try to skin half of him at a time. Oh yeah, this is this is peeling off a lot better. Oh, look at that! Look how cool that is, Si. Look at his fins right there. This is the bones for. That's the fins. Look how cool that is. Bones for the. It's not the bones. That's where the fins are. Oh. I want to hold it like this. You want to hold it like that? Well, let's get it gutted first. Here. Well, Can y'all see at, that? Yeah, and look at his skin. Yeah. Wow. That's super cool. Yeah. Whoa, well, look at this. Yeah. It's like like one of those dinosaurs. What? <laughs> oh, Daddy, this is like a fish tail. Hold on, Sarah. To hold go. Fish that. <laughs> but look how much meat is on that eel. That whole thing is nothing but meat. And it, it's we're gonna we're gonna chow down. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a lot of food to eat. Next time you see us, we'll be in the kitchen and we'll be comparing this channel cat with an American eel. Let's see how they taste. Dude, I'm gonna do a comparison with the channel cat. I'm gonna cook the smallest one whole, and then I'm gonna cook the eel. And I'm gonna cook them exactly the same. I'm gonna be cooking them with Zatarain's fish fry. I'm going to be cooking them in the same grease and everything. And we're just going to compare the difference of the eel and the channel cat. So let's get to cooking. You you have the seasoning on the fish? Yeah. Alright, let's put it in the grease. Let me do it. Grab the tail. The whole channel cat. Perfect size for frying. While the fish is frying, put the eel in the frying bag for me. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Whoa, that looks so different. And now we're gonna take this eel and drop it in here as well. 
I didn't put a whole lot of seasoning in it because Silas wants to try it as well. So, so we're going to get the natural taste of this fish and the eel for the comparison and see see how good eel is. All right, try the fins, Silas. Yeah. They're good and crunchy. Yeah, when I was your age, that was my favorite part. The cameraman wanted to play with the cat for a second, so I'm down the cameraman. I gotta get the this eel out of the grease. Looks pretty good. We have the catfish and the eel cooked and cooled down, and we're gonna give it a try. Gonna yeah. see which one's better, channel cat. Or eel. All right, try that, Sai. Is it that good? It, it tastes like it tastes plain. It tastes plain. All right, try this. I only tried the fin, not the actual crab. All right, try that. It's hot. The, the meat's hot. All right. All right, try it now. That's yummy there. I got a good bite of eel right here. Island. It's good. That's really good meat right there. That's that's good meat of a try of this catfish. That's good too. Yeah. That's good. Both of them are good. The eel is a little little bit different, but I, I wouldn't say it's worse than catfish. No, they taste like the same. Now, just looking at this eel, it looks like it has some bones sticking out right there. That's not bones. There you have it, guys. Eel and catfish. Both of them are very delicious. And we loved it. Thank <laughs> you guys for watching. Always remember. Catch your mess, save the rest. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video. Let's go! Before we go, I wanted to show y'all how white this meat was. I mean, that's a white paper plate. Look how white that eel meat is. It, I mean, it's super white, and it is delicious. It does have these bones coming out of here, but they're really soft bones after you cook them down. You could eat them. All right, Silas is... Silas is six years old and he's going to town on this eel and, and he's not getting any bones, so. I'm eating the bones. I know. It's a really, really good fish. I don't know why people do, don't eat it more. I'll be eating it more. I guess just because it's just so slimy. Daddy, yes, I, I just swallowed the bone. Yeah? It's <laughs> yummy, isn't it? Yeah. Don't do it on all fish, though. No. But thank you guys for watching. Good seal.